Welcome back. I have decided to uh, cancel my fan stock analysis. And instead, I will be focusing on the major tech stocks. So I have selected the major tech stocks, uh, for example, Netflix, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Tesla, uh, Facebook, and Google. And the reason why I do that is because these are the companies that are driving the stock market at the moment, both the S&P 500 and especially the NASDAQ. Whatever happens to these stocks, um, uh, basically drives the, the action of the indexes. So it would make sense to not just to focus on the fan stocks, but technically to focus on all the major tech stocks. So my newest videos will basically be na named tech stocks and not fan stocks. So these are going to be my forecast for 2nd of October 2020. And if you like these videos, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button in the, in the corner here and uh, hit the like button and the bell button. So let's get to it. And I think we'll start with Netflix. So Netflix has an, had an absolute uh, boom in the market today. So Netflix bottom at the, the 100 moving average at around um, $468. And since then, it has increased in value with around 12% in only one week. And that is, well, fantastic uh, and also expected. The technical indicators for Netflix have been really good and they are also looking very strong at this point. However, I do believe that Netflix will have a pullback tomorrow. And the main reason why I say that is that every time we hit the over or the top of the Bollinger Band, we usually have a pullback. And at this point, um, Netflix is at the top of the Bollinger Band, and we can see this in previous, um, previously when we have hit the highs of the Bollinger Band, we have um, a decrease in the price level before we can go higher. I do expect Netflix to go to these highs of $556, and probably within a few weeks, also to the old time highs of 573 this is a stock that is popular, especially now when um, COVID is returning uh, and will uh, affect many of the world's economies in both in the United States and Europe. People will have to stay more at home. They'll watch more, well, videos on Netflix and therefore it will increase in price. Um, however, this is not a very good entry point. If you wanted to enter uh, this market, you should have entered down here. At this point, uh, you should technically wait until the market this uh, falls towards the 50 moving average, which is support at this point, uh, in order to enter this market. So if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft is also trading above the 50 moving average. Uh, it bottomed just underneath the 100 moving average uh, at around uh, $197. And since then, it has increased in value with nearly 8.38%. Um, at this point, Microsoft will mostly go higher. Uh, there is not a lot of uh, resistance in, at this area here. Uh, if we were to break down, then we have the 50 moving average, the two exponential moving average underneath, and of course, the 100 moving average all the way down here. But the technical indicator for Microsoft stock are really strong. The MACD crossed the signal line uh, two, three trading days ago, and now it's the point of the upwards momentum. Uh, the same goes for the RSI. There's a lot of room for to the upside. It's not overbought, it's not oversold. Uh, it is, it is. There is a room uh, for more buying of this stock. However, the stochastic is pointing for a little bit of weakness. We're about to turn around, uh, but that is not necessarily. Uh, going to happen straight away. We could see something similar to this that we hang around at the above the green line for some time that we have done previously. If we look at the other uh, the two day uh, 
forecast for for no yeah forecast for 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 uh, Microsoft we have some um, we still have momentum to the upside and the same goes if we go for for three days four days and so on however the Bollinger Band we are at the top of the Bollinger Band so we probably could see one day where we pull back uh, but as tomorrow's day is Friday, and usually that is a really bullish day for most stocks, most of the time, not always, you can also have really bad Fridays, but most of the time Friday is a, is a, is a day which is really bullish for US stocks. So most likely this will go higher. There's plenty of support underneath in this market. If we look at Apple, Apple as well has broken through uh, most of the resistance here. We're trading above the, the 50 moving average. We bottom at $103. If we were to break down, then we have the 50 moving average underneath and the two exponential moving averages and this entire support area here. So I don't expect Apple to break down from here. And especially we have uh, the pronouncement of the new Apple phone, Apple, yeah, hope I said this right, Apple 12 is coming out in now in, in, in only two weeks time. And of course, that will also um, increase the price level of their stock as it usually does. Um, if it's a complete flop, which it rarely is, then then um, then we'll probably go lower. But in, in most cases, it will go higher. Um, um, that is uh, that is very very common for for Apple stock to do. At this point, we have some resistance here, uh, and after that, we will go to these highs of uh, one hundred and thirty seven dollars. If we look at Amazon, we are trading well above the fifty moving average. This looks like a very encouraging candle for uh, Amazon stock. The technical indicators for Amazon are looking really strong both the macd rsi stochastic uh bullish but everything is looking uh, pointed to higher levels we may run into some resistance here at this for the price level 3300 after that we'll go to the highs of of uh, of 3552 um yes this is basically pullbacks are buying opportunities for for amazon this is the future of, of uh, a basically world economy. So if you look at Tesla, Tesla has been, is, I don't know, I'm not a fan of Tesla. I've been willing to do a, a Tesla video for a very long time now, and I most likely will do that in the future. Uh, but I rarely trade Tesla stock and um, the reason for that is just I don't believe in the product so I don't know how uh, I get a lot of hate um, in the comment section for it say that but I just don't believe in the product uh, I don't see uh, electric vehicles as the future uh, so but if you look at the Tesla stock this for the most time is behaving like Bitcoin was behaving in in the past it can increase it with uh, 12 to, uh, to 13 15 percent all of a sudden and then decrease by 24 percent all of a sudden so it, this is a very risky but highly profitable stock to be trading um we bottomed here at 349 dollars and then we bounced um, and now we're up uh, up uh, 27 dollars uh, 27 percent so in, in like it's like uh, in only one two three four five six trading sessions up 20 25 percent 27 percent and that is fairly ridiculous if you see where we topped here and went all the way to the bottom this is the decrease of uh, of uh, of 22.91 percent and that is only in four trading sessions so Tesla can grow your account. It can definitely, absolutely destroy your account if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you should 
focus at, I believe in the, in the long run, this stock will go higher and, but you should really focus on when it basically drops towards, for example, the 50 moving average. I would not enter this market without a really clear sign that the 50 moving average was holding. I would not enter this market at all at this point because you can have a drop of like of 20% all of a sudden and then you will be stuck there uh, for some time and so on. So you can wipe out a huge chunk of your trading account if you are not careful trading Tesla stock. Um, at the moment, the technical indicators are fairly bullish. We're about to cross the signal line for the MACD. The RSI is quite bullish. And so is the Sarcastic is also bullish. Now, this is the two-day. If you look at a one-day chart, it is also fairly bullish. The, the bullish amount is showing that we have some, um, some basically, we may see some more up and upwards movement at, at this point. If we look at Facebook, then Facebook, as well as all the other tech stocks, are trading above the 50 moving average, which means that a 50 moving average will be support from now on. And we found significant support down here at the 100 moving average. So even though we break down from here, the 50 moving average will be support and the 100 moving average at uh, around, we get the line up here, around 240 eight dollars will be significant support uh, at this point there's not a lot of resistance above we have this area here uh, at the 273 after that we'll go to these highs of 303 dollars so we'll probably that'll take some time to get up there it'll be choppiness to get up there but we'll get there at some point the technical indicators for Facebook are looking really strong. We're about to cross the signal line for the MACD, indicating higher momentum. The sarcastic is pointing to higher levels, price levels, and so on. So um, this is a um, very bullish sign for uh, Facebook stock. Uh, and if we were to break down, then we have all of this support underneath. If you look at Google, then Google is probably the the tech stock that has, or the, from the major tech stocks that has the most work on its hands. Um, so the reason why I say that is because Google has to get through this 100 moving average, the, these expansion moving averages, and the 50 moving average in order to get to higher levels. Furthermore, we have this, uh, this area here, which also will uh, be significant uh, resistant. So we'll see a lot of choppiness uh, in Google stock uh, for the next trading days. The technical indicators are very bullish and um, um, Google is basically where uh, Facebook and Amazon and most of the other stocks were uh, last week. So we may see Google bounce similar to, uh, to the other tech stocks, um, but it is uh, a little bit behind the other tech stocks. Um, no interest in basically shorting this. If we were to fall back, then the 200 moving average and the 150 moving average are significant support. So, hope you like this video. You're welcome to support our channel by clicking the support button, support button, <laughs> the subscriber button and the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, the market is uh, fairly volatile at the moment, so um, uh, trade safely and and good luck.